You have to keep killing until you gain a level. That's where the action RPG part of this game comes in. He teaches us about experience points and how we get them, and how we can actually increase our statistics. So, let's go ahead and do that. He teaches us what each, what each statistic does, but we can also go into the status menu and find out that way. Okay. Now, he mentioned uh, duplicating techniques, which is what Focus does. In which case, well, we don't want to go with that. Now, I have a very specific playing style with this game, in which I'm somewhat of a berserker. So, I usually go with offense the most. Now, as you can see, we start off with 15 in each stat. And, well, let's put it this way. When you go at it from this angle, he will improve all attributes, balance, manner. However, not all stats will go up by the same amount. It's kind of randomly generated in that aspect, in which if you hit uh, develop all areas evenly, and then you reload it and leveled again, you will not get the exact same statistics. It will be it'll differ a little bit. You'll get either you could get more HP, more MP but at the cost of a different stat. You get a certain amount of points that are allocated kind of at random. Now, don't believe this thing where it says, let me decide on my own. You can't decide how much each stat gains and etc, etc, thus a custom build, though that would be nice. What it actually does is it lets you choose one of the st six statistics and well, that statistic will get like 8 or 9 points. It'll get really high boost, but at the cost of others. Now, as a Berserker, I really want to improve my strength the most early on. So, I am actually going to do the sort of customized, and I'm going to hit strength. Now, as you can see, it kind of jumps around, in which case you wouldn't expect me to get a lot of focus or MP when choosing strength, but I still did get a pretty good amount. But strength up by 9, that's actually really useful. Now, what happens is that a few flowers kind of bloom in the water. Now, we need those to get over there, because Musashi can't swim. So, let's not fall in the water. That would be bad. However, later on we will get an ability that allows us to use water. However, I'm not going to spoil it. It's, it's a very interesting ability. Alright, so here's Master Mew. What are you going to teach me now? Ledges! Alright. So he teaches us the basics on ledges. When you're holding on, if you press down, you'll drop down. If you get up here and you press up, you'll climb. However, I don't think he mentions... Oh, you can't do that when you're hanging on ledges. You'll also be able to jump off of certain, uh, certain walls and platforms, but that really depends upon which type it is. So let's head on through into the next area. Nice stroll through the woods. This is probably one of my favorite areas. The music is just so awesome. In fact, music from the entire game is pretty awesome. Alright, so this is another big aspect of the game, is carrying things. Now, not necessarily like objects and the like, but rather carrying people. Now, Despite what he says right here, you don't have to save a lot of innocent people during the game. I mean, you'll find them, but you don't have to do a lot of, you know, actual carrying. They kind of just appear, tell you what they're there for, what they can do for you, and then they teleport back to town. So, the carrying thing, while important, doesn't come up very often. But of course, he's going to teach us about it, so we have to use it. Alright, so X, also jump, 
uh, X jumps, talks to people, and carries them. That can get a little confusing at times. However, it's actually used very well. So let's go with this. Uh, what's wrong? Can't cut your tongue? I'm cool. Good. No. Fuck this. All right. You learn quick for wild court. He's awesome. Now, notice we both have really bad hair. I think it's actually kind of cool and kind of funny in a way. Um, so, you have an attack while you're carrying people. Now, you might think, how am I going to use my sword if both my hands are filled? I attack with the person. It's, it's fr pretty freaking awesome. Now, he teaches us how to do the spin slice while carrying somebody. Now, this is only really useful if you're surrounded, so don't try to use this when it's like one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one, -on -one, unless they're actually surrounding you. So, you hit circle, and then while they're in the air, you hit the attack button, square. To put them down, just press triangle. Okay, now, because he wants you to do the puzzle right after he teaches you this, obviously, you have to use the carrying mechanic. Whoa! You get out of my way! Now, as you can see, the carry attack is far stronger than your normal attack. That, that's kind of funny. Now, this puzzle is easily solved. Now, in order to tell this normally, you can do this. You can just stand on here and as you can see the barrier goes down so you just kind of figure it out from there and it's just like okay so something just needs to be right here to keep it up down well I can carry him pretty simple stuff now we get what Musashi is most known for now of course I mean Miyamoto Musashi who the character is based upon and what is that? he fought samurai using a using an ore, which was actually kind of impressive, if you think about it. I just kind of... It's looking like that text is a little blurred, but oh well. So, he gets the Great Ore, which is, as I said, Miyamoto Musashi's trademark. He fought Samurai with an ore. And he, he was very powerful that way. So... What Mew tell, Master Mew tells us is that he's improved it so that it's stronger. Which is actually pretty good. This is our heavy attack, a la Legend of Mana. So, talks about the gauge, our MP, and the latent power. Ready, young pup, do your trick. Now, I'm going to do a little something else. These guys are all going to go after me. And the thing is, I have to just use the latent power to get past them. I don't really need to kill these guys, but it's a good idea to kill them anyways for money and experience. You just need to pay attention to these guys. As I said, just pay a little attention. Whoa! Now, I'll be able to pass that boulder a little later in the game. Gimme money! Now, it doesn't matter if you kill these guys with your latent power. I'm taking a bit of a beating right here. Now there's one issue with blocking. And that is that... Oh, I hit you. Ow! 
Ow! I think just one more, like, money drop and I'll be good. Oh, two works. Oops. Here it is! Maelstrom! 